Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2023 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last half of August 2023 and this reading is for the air sign of Libra. As always, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all that you do in support of this YouTube channel. Uh, even if it's nothing more than just watching the videos on the YouTube channel, that helps as well. Hitting that like, share, subscribe buttons. Hitting that like button really does move the channels along. Thank you for that. For those of you who comment, who reach out for personal readings and who refer and recommend my gratitude always thank you okay libra if your sun moon rising venus sign is in libra this is for you if you're cross watching for a libra this is also relevant uh, now a general reading means that um, it will resonate a little differently for everyone particularly in the little details and specifics but the fundamental energy remains the same however if you know your sun moon rising and venus signs watch those for additional insight and perspective and if something really does resonate with you it really does you know play along with what's going on in your life right now um, <clears throat> and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style if you're interested in a personal reading with me or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else please email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can also get that contact info that contact detail from uh, clicking the description link or clicking the title of this video i would love to hear from you and i can usually respond the same day with more information i do offer quite a wide variety of readings in all areas of life um, of all different types and lengths and for all budgets there's something for everybody in there and I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So scheduling of uh, personal readings is done in a, a pretty timely fashion as well. So if you're interested, email me. Okay, Libra, let's move right in and see what the last half of August looks like it is holding for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant, yes, the Radiant Rider weight. Uh, we begin with you. King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Well, Libra, this could be you, or it could be another air sign that's relevant, or it could be somebody that's showing up as the king of swords, the king of air, or queen in a general reading. This could be a female too. Um, smart, sees right to the heart of matters, probably a good communicator, if rather direct. Uh, smart, if not well-educated. Doesn't suffer fools very well. They usually get right to the point. Because those swords represent truth and transparency and how you see things. With the page of swords, message, messages, a conversation, the two of wands, which prompts a choice of some time of some kind, being at a crossroads. It's the two of fire, so it's a choice that will. I mean, you'll need to decide which one of these doors to go through because fire is action oriented. So it's about going through one door, going through another. You know, choices here. The four of cups, an offer being made. There's an offer or opportunity in front of you. Not quite sure if you want to take it or not. Sitting and contemplating. That's okay. As long as you don't get stuck and stagnant there right next we have the four of wands one of the happy home cards weddings marriages celebrations around or that include home and family which can be a variety of different things unexpected blessings and happy surprises as well the ace of coins brand new beginnings the ace of earth so they might be practical new beginnings it could be emotional too it could be a wedding proposal it could be moving relocating something to do with renewing or renovating a house for some of you a new job a combination of those an offer or opportunity to go to a celebration or a party or an event of some kind M moving for some of you moving relocating traveling marriage for some of you from the bottom of the deck, the overall makes sense. The overall energy and theme for the last half of August is the Ace of Wands. Aces, of course, are the number one, so they represent a new beginning, an opportunity, a new path opens up. Ace of Fire, it's very exciting. The Suit of Wands is passion, desire, creativity, positivity, excitement. Let's clarify that overall energy of the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Wands. 
and the king of swords again well it's definitely an opportunity for you it's some kind of new offer opportunity and it is definitely for you could be coming through another fire sign mail you've got the king of swords twice the ace of wands twice okay let's clarify the page of swords The Knight of Wands coming in very quickly. Knights also represent offers and opportunities for change, the speed at which situations move. The Knight of Wands is the Knight of Fire. Very fast moving energy, very fast moving opportunity perhaps. Um, could be travel again for some of you. Traveling, moving. I'm getting a sense of physical movement or relocation, travel, relocation, something like that. Five of Wands, conflict, maybe internal conflict, external conflict. There's a message or communication here. It may be that you're conflicted about, yeah, well, obviously you're conflicted. You're, we have the Two of Wands and that Four of Cups. I don't know if I should take this offer or opportunity. It may be that not everybody else is on board with this as well. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Well, actually, let's clarify the Two of Wands. Being at a crossroads. <laughs> the f two of wands which is already with the four of cups has the four of cups again we keep getting repeat clarification here it's always nice though spirit is quite present and the fool brand new beginnings but it's not just new beginnings i mean aces represent spectacular luck you know new beginnings but the fool is a major arcana new beginnings the fool has the zero because this is the first major arcana card in the tarot a whole new life cycle a new chapter or set of chapters is starting it's going off on a brand new new journey doing something completely different getting out of your comfort zone stepping off the beaten path have no idea how it's going to turn out but there's an implication here that it's divine timing and orchestration and again strong movement or travel energy it might be an opportunity to travel for some of you or to move or relocate let's clarify the four of cups on offer opportunity The Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. Soulmate, kindred spirit, best friends, parties, social energy, activities. <coughs> now, for some of you, this is a general reading, right? So it's going to, the, the little details and specifics are varied for all of you watching. This might be, for some of you, an opportunity, just an opportunity to go to a party, a social event or gathering of some kind. But if you go, it could potentially be life-changing. The Three of Cups is parties, social energies, uh, social connections in your community. Two of Cups, of course, is a soulmate, kindred spirit, best friends. <coughs> this offer or opportunity is coming through this. It might just be an opportunity to go to some social event and maybe you're a little isolative or <laughs> right, antisocial or something like that. You know, because there's an element of the unknown about it and getting out of your comfort zone in order to accept this offer. Now, for so the, because this is a general reading, the range of what this offer is is going to vary in the intensity. Some of you, it's just going to be a party, right? You might meet the love of your life there. Something, something amazing, some new opportunity, something amazing is going to happen there. That I can see. Others of you, it can range all the way to some amazing new opportunity to travel, to move, to relocate possibly even to get married in there somewhere so in a general reading what the offer is may vary and the intensity may vary but but the theme is the same it's going to require a leap of faith let's clarify the four of wands happy home celebrations weddings marriage unexpected blessings happy surprises without four of wands but like that two of wands it does require you to walk through a door As if we didn't know already. Divine timing and orchestration. God, spirit, angels, and guides. God's thumbprint, I like to call this card. Spirit's bringing it to you. The lovers. A choice about a relationship. A choice to get into a relationship. A choice between two people. 
a choice in another area of life that may significantly impact a relationship seven of swords things done strategically perhaps behind closed doors again for those of you who are with somebody else it may be you know deciding that you're going to move and relocate and not telling anybody till the last minute or that you're jumping on a plane and going somewhere to another country or something to marry somebody and not telling anyone till the last minute there's kind of a card of strategy i mean the seven of swords while it can mean deceit theft trickery it's it's a card primarily of strategy right what can i do how can i accomplish whatever it is i'm wanting to to do in the best way the most the best way possible Ace of Coins. Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. New beginnings, seeing the light, epiphanies, the light bulb going off over your head. Wish fulfillment, wishes granted. We've got three aces here, and one of them twice. Ace of Wands, twice. Ace of Swords, Ace of Coins. The Fool. I mean, there's brand new beginnings all over the place. An opportunity coming in that should you choose to take it, should you choose to walk through the door, maybe quite literally for some of you, because of you doing that, whether it is for some of you just a party, going accepting an invitation, or accepting an opportunity to travel or move or relocate, whatever, should you choose to take it, meaning walking through that door, it will completely change your life completely change your life <coughs> and I think you're going to know this by the beginning of September so let's end with any advice guidance feedback or messages from spirit for you Libra for the last half of August 2023 guidance advice feedback messages from spirit for Libra Last half of August, 2023. Ace of Cups, here's the fourth, the fourth cup, which is the emotional cup. The heart opening up again, being receptive to love. Keep your heart open to love. Open your heart to love, to new emotional beginnings, emotional renewal, hope. Doesn't have to be romantic love, but it might be for some of you. It's, it's obviously... I mean, this is the last remaining ace that we haven't had out. Everything else is out. Everything's out now. So spirit is advocating whatever this new beginning is. Look at this sun. It uplifts. It illuminates. It, it's all that heaviness and restrictions vanish under the light of the sun. It affects everything. It's the most positively influential card in the tarot. The star and justice. Look at these major arcana card spirit i don't think spirit could make it any more clear unless they like walked into your house grabbed you by the ear and pulled you out the front door but it is up to you because justice is the reap what you sow card you you have to walk through the door you have to say yes right because justice means that the outcome and consequences even if it takes a while are based on what you do and say honor transparency morality minimal investment minimal return maximum investment maximum return the star renewed restored hope faith and optimism perhaps after a time when some of you may have given up on something or were despairing on something right here spirit is bringing it in for you practically on a silver platter working through other people which is the most common way that god spirit angels and guides work i mean free will free agency you can say no i don't have a vote but if i did i would vote yes so i'm just going to leave it there libra those are your messages for the last half of august 2023 i hope you enjoyed them found them relevant found them useful or gave you something interesting to chew on again if uh, this did resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style if you are interested in a personal reading information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else please feel free to email me directly maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. You can also see that, that email address, that contact info by clicking the description link or the title of this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the September general readings. 
I cannot believe it is almost September already. Until then, stay safe and well. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.